Hey guys, what's going on in today's video? I'm gonna be showing you a brand new feature in iOS. So iOS 11 was just announced at WWDC this past week and they unveiled quite a few new features. Some people were disappointed, some people were actually super happy. Um, the new control center has a lot of new options. Uh, you can basically access almost any feature on your phone uh, right from the control center, so pretty cool. But one of the most notable features that they offered with iOS 11 is screen recording. And it's pretty neat. Um, it allows you to basically completely record your screen in full HD. Now, this iOS 11 is still in beta status, so not all apps are completely compatible with what the restrictions are or anything like that. But if I open up Snapchat, I can start my screen recorder and it'll record what's on the screen and there's no restrictions. So if I'm watching a Snapchat, I can have the screen recorder going in the background and the other person would have absolutely no idea. Now I know that sounds a little bit weird, but this is why I'm making this video to be informative and let you know that this is what could happen right now. Now I would assume that after Snapchat uh, updates with iOS 11, they probably will not allow this feature. But when I go back to the playback mode here, you can see that it records it in full HD um, exactly like as you were doing it, which is which is pretty cool. It's a feature that iOS has honestly lacked for quite a long time, uh, and I'm happy they finally did it in a way that you don't have to have a jailbreak, don't have to install any certificates. It's something that's coming preloaded on iOS 11. So if you are a developer, you can download it right now. Otherwise, the public beta uh, will be available here in the next couple weeks very shortly. But man, some of the features they add in here are just sweet. So a lot of the control center options, um, like I said, you can obviously see there's way more and it's more expanded but just turning like brightness up and down, volume up and down, your timers, they just, everything's so smooth. And even for a beta, I was extremely shocked with how smooth everything was. I think the coolest thing is with the flashlight, how you can change the notches of brightness up and down. Similar to the feature in the current control center in iOS 10, when you could force touch the flashlight and choose from bright, medium, and low light. But now uh, it's just a lot more simple. It's a lot more usable. And I think a lot more people are gonna enjoy that. Same with the notification center, it's a lot more simplified and you can just swipe right over and you're right back at your lock screen. Like I said, this still is in beta status, but once it actually releases to the public, uh, the public beta is gonna be available later this month and then the official release probably in later September. Uh, I think this is gonna be huge for iOS. So make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at JV underscore iPhone 5, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I'll be doing a full walkthrough of iOS 11 shortly, so you guys will not wanna miss that. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.